What's up, everybody? This is Jose from Sun Life. Hey, Katie. Welcome to Springfield, Missouri. First time ever here mm -hmm. for both of us, right? Yeah. All right. Springfield, Missouri. We're going to begin on historic Route 66. What used to be Route 66, and most of Route 66 through Springfield is kind of, well, it's not there. It's not complete. It's not what it used to be. So it's kind of uh, segmented throughout the city. But nonetheless, this is Historic Route 66, and there's not much left to it. This is one of the stretches of Route 66 for the city. So we'll see if there's anything interesting in this stretch. We're on the north side of the city. Springfield, Missouri is considered in the top 40 most dangerous cities in the country for violent crime. Now that's a category of crime. That doesn't include everything. It's just a category of crime. The city is among one of the widest cities in America at about 88%. And uh, there are other people here, but they don't have neighborhoods. They're spread out. Which means that when you look at the race map of the city, the vast majority of the city is majority white. Very interesting. Um, kind of different. There's a lot of cities that are like that in the Midwest, but for somebody coming from the South, it's kind of interesting. I've never really, uh, I don't think I've never been in a city that's like that. For the most part, say this size at least. It looks very clean, kind of bland, but clean. Nice little city here. Shout out to everybody watching from Missouri. I know a lot of people from Missouri watch me. He had two kids fighting in the backs. Get him! Hey, get him right there. You get him. He'll get him. Yeah, you get him. One kid is beating the crap out of the other kid in the back seat. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of the good old days. I get him. Mm -hmm. well, at least we don't have that distraction with our Gordon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For all those people who think we have children back there. <laughs> yeah, there's there's always a there's a conspiracy theory that me and Kenny have children. It's like, okay, so how are we a video? There's a kid in the back seat. Do you really time. think I'd bring a child to the hood? Do you think I'm that irresponsible? <laughs> well, I'll bring you to the hood. That's yeah. pretty irresponsible. I'm also 32, so... Oh, I got that danger hat in there. Hmm. This kind of looks like Tampa. It's funny how like, every time you sit down in a restaurant here that's fancy, the conversation's always the same. We were moving to Florida. But yeah. Yeah. I understand. I understand. <laughs> Man, you've been in the South too long when you start saying stuff like, I understand. Mm -hmm. Look at those apartments. Wow, that's ugly. For Bible college. Okay. Oh, the college. Wow, that's an ugly building. I thought it was like a project or something. It's weird because with violent crime is an interesting category of crime. It's um almost has no correlation with any other demographics or statistics. It's a very interesting interesting that though. looks cool yeah it's closed today yeah. that's our that should be our cover photo right there yeah. we're gonna swim back around either way look at how much abandoned buildings are in the kind of run down yeah. it looks hood around here it's a white hood interesting people people almost assume that there's no white hoods in America. It's like, yeah. yeah, no, they got them. No, they're there. They're there. Yeah. 
So what would this white woman want to have for breakfast? Me? Yeah. What, uh, what are the plans for a white woman's breakfast looking like? Well, we're on the road, so usually we're on the road at Starbucks. Now, what, how is that even a question, Jose? You know what I'm going to have. Mm -hmm. I'm open to other things, There's but... a lot of homelessness here. Yeah. But usually with you and everything, we usually go with Starbucks because it's more consistent. Is that an old school Chevy? Yeah, buddy. Yep. That's what's up. Expressway. Yeah. Can I see of course. You could also run back and do um I'll just do a run on video. What is this thing? Where's your phone and Wi-Fi? Yeah, actually it runs south all the way to call it. From what I understand, if you're from Spring Hill, you can elaborate. From what I understand, we go south now, all the way to the Route 66 Car Museum, and then in downtown College or Walnut is also part of it. Because I think it used to be like a one-way or something. I'm not sure. Like there was two of them. So we'll go south through here to the Route 66 Car Museum. From there, it's right to the Walnut College. Is that Jose? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Even Driving distracted, even though. For Starbucks, all I know. Oh, look at these houses made out of rocks. That's pretty yeah. cool. I saw a hotel where they are all out of that. I think it was from the 66 era. Wow. There's a lot of bed bugs inside that thing. That thing squatted. They don't squat that thing down there. bland and kind of like crappy. A little bit later, not too much. Never had a problem even though being unemployed is all I know. Beginning from the steps. To the corner store, we ride. EBT card, we slide. Never had a problem, even though being unemployed is all I know. EBT cards, we slide. Section 8, we reside. Never had a problem, even though being unemployed is all I know. 9 to 7, we ride. Begging on the corners, all I know. People tell me to get a job, and I don't know. Do the amount of homelessness here, mm -hmm. vagrancy. Being unemployed is all I know. EBT cards, we slide. Never looks like crap, bro. buildings and stuff the whole building forget about boring up the windows they bore oh look at the old school yeah this is definitely hood yeah. i don't know what makes people think that there's no white hoods in america like this is right here like this city is like 90 percent white 90 percent like 97 98 percent white look at this like 
It is definitely hood. Yeah. Can you open up the map on the phone for us, Oregon? Of course. Where you said it when we were unemployed. You can take cards as always, lad. <laughs> Being unemployed, that's my life. Nine to seven, we run. I love that rock house, though. Look at these houses, it's like a, look at these houses made in a rock. Yeah, that's cool. That is cool. I can actually make that. Remember I did it in a, a Yeah, it was really cool. I, yeah, it takes forever to do that. But you can do it. Mm -hmm. It's actually a popular building style in Florida. <laughs> Being unemployed is all I know. <laughs> EBT cards, we slide. Because it keeps things cooler. Really? Hmm. I would love to build a house out of stone one day to start from scratch. Yeah. I wonder if they'll let us do it in Fort Myers. I guess structurally you would have to pull your own. That is a great question to ask the county. Because I could start building my own house if they let us do that. You still have to have the cement base and you blah, gotta, blah, You got to do all that, but like, I, like, that's something that, like, okay, I want to build a house like this. It's probably going to take, you know, five, six years to finish it. You know what I mean? At least. Bigger doesn't do that to you, buddy. Okay. It's definitely an interesting city. Hey, baby, give me a beer. Stuff you start working, mm -hmm. trucks, wheels, mm -hmm. and then you won't be able to keep the cages off you. But that notion, as you travel America, that, that's the type of comment stupid people make. Only black areas are bad, only Spanish. That's the type of comment only stupid, ignorant people say. Look at this place. Majority white. It's just as run down yeah. as any other city in the country. There's as much problems here as there is anywhere else. People are so... Um, but they don't show you that. You know, they only show you... They'll only show you, you know, what they want to show you on TV. And people, you know, they, they swallow that up. And they believe it. But... Here's a city that's mostly white, and you got the same problems here as you got anywhere else in America, man. That notion that, you know, that's fraudulent, man. That's a fraudulent notion to believe. But that's why you travel and you actually learn about the, you know, about places. I think the more tr you travel, the less prejudiced you are. Um, I think Route 66 continues here going into town. Is it a chestnut? or college but 
You want to find a Starbucks? You want to? Okay. I want to check out the west side of the city. We can do it all. Okay. We just need Starbucks. <laughs> the west central part of the city says about to go up ahead. Um, route, okay, so this is where the route, the, on college, there's a route 66, so it's up ahead. A few blocks ahead, I think past that bridge is a, is a museum. But yeah, the notion that, you know, only certain types of cities have those problems, that's, dude, the, the United States is the same thing, it doesn't matter what the demographics are, there's people that work, and there's people that don't work. There's people that are good, and there's people that are bad. And look at this city, majority white. Lots of homelessness, lots of vagrancy, um, lots of uh, problems. Very high, uh, very high um, violent crime rate. One of the highest in the country. You know, everybody's the same. Just different people have different circumstances. They, they're put in different roles to play. But you know that that type of mindset. You know, when you travel, you'll see that we're all the same. Except for this guy. I think this is college. Oh, that's where the museum is. We're supposed to go over there. Let me see if I can pull around. Yeah, see it, yeah. See it? Okay. I'll pull you through somewhere up ahead. Oh, I missed another train. Okay. It's like when we were in, uh, in Louisiana, uh, you know, the girl at the hotel was telling me about how she's scared to go to Miami because there's Haitians in Miami and Haitians are terrifying. I'm like, dude, Miami has the lowest addiction rate of any city in the country. It has, um, for being a city that size, a relatively low M rate, you know, people aren't getting whacked in Miami left and right. In fact, there's songs on the radio right now that talk about how Miami is safer than Chicago, for example. Um, a song, I think it's a little dark lyric, lyric from Lil Dirk that says, when I go to Miami, I got the top down because there aren't shots flying around saying that, you know, you can go to Miami and be safe. But here's somebody that lives in Louisiana, which is one of, it is the most, second most dangerous state. Okay, the murder rate in the entire state of Louisiana, the whole state, it's higher than the city of Miami. So here's a whole state that has a higher murder rate than a city, an urban city. And then they have the prejudice to think that they're scared to go to Miami because there's Haitians in Miami and Haitians are terrifying. Bro, I'm white. Katie, you're white. Mm -hmm. We go to Miami, we go eat at Haitian restaurants in the middle of little Haiti, uh, Opalaka. We ever had a problem with Haitian people bothering us? Never. Never. And we're the only white people there. Never had a problem. In fact, you might be safer than everybody else because they're going to make sure nothing happens to you because you're a tourist. But then, you know, people have all these concepts. And I go through every day on my channel, I see the same old comments from the same stupid people who've never traveled, who've never seen the world. You know, just stupidity. And they think maybe if they repeat it enough, they'll start to believe it. Mm -hmm. Or if they say it enough, it becomes real. Miami is one of the safest cities in the country mm -hmm. for being in size. Miami is one of the safest cities of any city in size. The same can be said about Texas border towns. Statistically, you can't make it up. Ah, the tipo se me metió en medio de la calle, city! The damn medio! Sorry, that's how we handle that, man. <laughs> and then you drive along throughout your day. <laughs> but yeah, there's so many. And I, I, every day I read the same old comments, and it's almost like they think if they repeat these things enough, it's true, you know? Or they say it to themselves enough, it becomes true. It doesn't. I mean, uh, Miami, 
is a great example of a city that people think is horrendous. And in reality, um, you know, it's, it's really not that bad. And we're talking statistically. And literally. I think this is where the museum is right here. Yeah, right there. Closed today because it's Sunday, but it's there. Ooh, here's open. Is it really? Yeah. yeah. I'm not paying to go in a museum. Not today. Is it open? Yeah. Alright, let's find that Starbucks. Is it really open on Sunday? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's not, most of the Starbucks that I saw were inside the stores. Make sure it's not inside yeah, the store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. And if it's on the, if you, if it's on the other side, on the east side of town, the southeast side of town, mm -hmm. that way you can skip, still drive through town. I want to drive through downtown first. So let's go to downtown. And then once we're on the east side of downtown, we'll go to Starbucks on that side of town. Mm -hmm. Tommy Hopkins. Just so much people just when I hear through these comments, I see things that are so ridiculous. And in real life, like this lady, she lives in Louisiana. Okay. And she lives in one of the most dangerous cities in Louisiana. And the level of ignorance is so high. You know, to sit there, you're living in one of the most dangerous cities in the country. Second, last year, the city that was the second most dangerous city in the country. You're living in the second most dangerous city in the country. And you're afraid to go to Miami, a, a much, much safer city, based on your prejudice that you're afraid of certain people. And what's ironic is I asked her about her background, and she said she was like Cajun, Creole, whatever the crap. And I'm like, do you know that Haitians are actually the same thing you are? Because, you know, you know Creole is, uh, you know, the people in Louisiana, you know, that whole Cajun Creole thing, a lot of that comes from Haiti and France, which is what Haitians are. It's like they're you're the same thing they are, you know what I mean? It's it's just But people want to believe what they want to believe, and you can tell them the truth and it doesn't change anything. And what's beautiful about traveling is you get to see things firsthand. You know, you get to see different parts of the country and you learn as you travel. I want to keep learning so I can keep traveling. But you know, the, a lot of the prejudiced places small towns people who've never left their little town they don't know what the world's about they live inside of an aquarium you know what i mean it's like if you have a turtle you have a turtle inside of an aquarium since the time it's born he thinks that aquarium that's the whole world right there you know so all it knows is that little aquarium you know that's all it knows but one day you take that turtle to a to a pond or, or you know put it in a river that's hundreds of miles long and that turtle might be able to say wow there's a bigger world out there but if that turtle's never left there's one of the iconic things in the town right there the hubcap 66 so if it's never left its town it's never really experienced the world you're like that little turtle in an aquarium you, you don't know anything there's a whole vast world out there. there's a whole river system out there you got to go out there and see the world if you're from a small town you have a lot of prejudice because you're just, your mind, it's just a, a capsule of the world. It's not really the whole thing, you know? And even me, like, I lived in one place. Now that I've traveled more, like, I, I, I am not, I, in the last two years, I've started to travel America. Look at that a mirror right there, babe. Mm -hmm. Route 66 mirror. Mm -hmm. Of course, you guys can see it, but there's no way I can get that camera angle looking that way. Once, like, I'm not the same person that I was two years ago. Yeah. You know? When you go to new places, you learn about that place. Mm -hmm. And then you take those lessons with you and you know what Is other places are like. Is that a whale? Yes. It's a whale. Mm -hmm. It's a demonetized whale. Mm -hmm. Can't say the S word. <laughs> yeah. It's a demonetized whale if we say the name. I can't believe how much homelessness there is in this town. And this is on a Sunday? Mm 
You know, Sunday's a slow day, right? Yeah. Like, imagine coming here, like, on a Friday night or something. This is on a Sunday in the, at noon, and there's that many people just vagrantly running around. Like, yeah. you know, you can tell they're just trying to look for the next hit. Like, what the crap? Yeah. Unbelievable. That's a gang related tattoo on that guy right there. Mm -hmm. See that tattoo? Right, that, that tattoo he has right here? Mm -hmm. That's a meaningful yeah. gang tattoo. Okay. Like, I'm not even the same person that I was two years ago. Two months ago? Well, I would say two years ago before we started traveling. Yeah. Before we started traveling. Like when, you guys know that when I moved to Alabama, I was very familiar with Florida. Very familiar with Florida, but that was it. Florida and some parts of South Georgia. When I moved to Alabama, I, I had I had been through Alabama, but you know, like I hadn't really like familiarized myself with Alabama. When I moved to Alabama, um, I, I hadn't seen anything in the world at that point. Mm -hmm. It was after I moved out of Alabama that I started to see the world. Wow, there's downtown on a Sunday. It's just a bunch of people in book bags, homeless. That's embarrassing, bro. This is basically just a place where homeless people hang out. Yeah. Wow, that's embarrassing, bro. There's just people. This is just sad. When you think about this, is what American cities have become. Just a bunch of people sitting in a, in a square, sleeping, urinating on sidewalks and stuff. When you think that's what America's become, it's pretty freaking sad, bro. This is the heart of an American city. Mm -hmm. On a Sunday. Sad, bro. Very sad. Just homeless camps and stuff. And they're camping out or what, bro. This is an American city on a Sunday. The center, the heart of American city, is just people laying on sidewalks and yeah, go ahead, bro. <sighs> young people, too. That's what makes me angry is that they're young. You know what I mean? Like, when you see somebody old that they've been chronically like that their whole lives, well, maybe they've... When you see somebody that young, bro... These are all young people, man. Like, that's sad, bro. Like, you're a young person. How do you do that to yourself at a young age, you know? It just breaks my heart, man. What's going on here? I would say this is pretty sad of a place. I guess there's more life on this street. But that's a, that's their town square right there. And your town square is just a bunch of people, the young people, that are pretty much throwing their lives away with addiction. Um, it's pretty sad, you know. It's just like you're young, you got so much to live for. You know, like it still bothers me. Like, the first time I went to Philadelphia and I saw Kensington. <clears throat> that was, I think, the point where we really, really started to see America, like, for real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. GPS to Starbucks already. You're going to go. This one down here? Sure, whatever you want. Make sure it's not a... Make sure it's a newer Starbucks and a... Kind of like a Leo or something. I know I've deprived you of Starbucks for th 29 minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Horrific uh. scenario for, for a young suburban woman. Left, right, east, west. I'm trying to figure out the best one that's not in the store. There's one on the east side of the city, on, on Gladstone, I think it's the name of the street. One is inside of a, it's not the southeasternmost, it's just a little north of that. Mm. American Legion. Well, now when you see young people, these kids are all young. Like most of the other cities in America, you see a lot of homelessness. You see homelessness and, 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 and you know, kind of, in a quarter mile, turn right onto East Chestnut Expressway. You see older people, man. What, what, what's shocking about this city is that these look like very, they look like my age or younger. Like, yeah. 
you know, like, you had a whole life ahead of you, and you're on the, on the streets begging for money for your next high, that is like, yeah. that's just, and this city's not expensive, is it? Like, housing, no. housing you're here, right onto East Chestnut this isn't an expensive way. place to live, like, you, you could probably buy a house here for, what, 8000 well, it's not like they had it that hard. I bet Continue in this city. On East Chestnut Expressway for one and a half miles. I bet in this city you can get a, a house that's even if it's for if it's inhabitable or not. In Florida, even if it's inhabitable or not, you're not gonna find a house with less than two hundred thousand. Or oh, really? I bet you can get a house here for eighty thousand. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't doubt it. Crap, one that's like boarded up, maybe I don't know, forty, fifty thousand. I'd, I'd love to see what a house costs in this town. So for eighty thousand dollars, you could probably buy a house here. And I bet you anything, you'll get a better paying job here than ever will in Florida. Yeah. You'll definitely get a better. So you're in a place where they don't have it hard, bro. Like they just they don't have it hard. Like I bet you a a, a, a job here will pay you more than a job in Florida. And I bet you the government here will give you more benefits in Florida and a house here cheaper in Florida. They got it easy, bro. Like this is an easy, easy place to make it. Housing's affordable. Jobs probably pay better than Florida. Look at us in Florida. Like imagine Katie, if right now we would be paid off homeowners if we could find a, a, a decent place to live for under hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. We'd be paid off homeowners. Mm -hmm. We were, we were before. Yeah. But we decided that, you know, you just can't live in a hundred thousand dollar neighborhood in Florida. And you can find it, but if you find it, it's gonna be so bad you're not gonna you can't live. Not if you try to make something out of yourself. It's easy. Like it's affordable, jobs pay well. You get a house under a hundred here. It's eighty four degrees right now. Yeah, it was hot a few days ago. This morning it was seventy nine degrees outside. You know how pleasant it is? I bet you right now in Florida, in Fort Myers, I bet you it's, you know, 100% humidity right now in Fort Myers. Yeah. You know, full sunlight, 100% humidity. Yeah. Bro, it was 79 degrees this morning. This is a comfortable, easy place to live. Like, like you got an easy package. How much easier do you want it, you know? Yeah, in South Florida, where we live, you see, you see a lot less homelessness and a lot less vagrancy. It's just a harder place to live. Like, you, be, you become tougher. That's why when we moved to Alabama, we were so successful because we're used to South Florida. Mm -hmm. Like, our neighbors were like, wow, these people are energetic. They're fixing their house. They're cleaning their yard. They're working. The people in Alabama were, like, amazed at us. They were like, wow, these people are, yeah, we're from South Florida, bro. Like, we're, we're, we're hardworking people. That, that's the difference between, like, South Florida and any other place, I think. You know, South Florida... California people are just yeah. hard working people. New York people probably too. You know. But in California they got better weather. They got good weather in California. Florida, it's horrible weather and you still gotta work hard. I remember after Hurricane Irma, I hurt my arm. I fell off a ladder hurricane clean up and I, I, I fractured my arm and in the long run my arm my arm that was healthy ended up getting even more hurt because I still had to keep working after the hurricane so my arm that didn't get hurt ended up getting more hurt in the long run because it started to work for both hands ended up the arm that didn't get hurt was the one that in the long run gave me the most trouble because I still kept working you know could I have gone and sued the lady that Three million, a three Mark, million dollar right house. Three million dollar house. I could have sued this lady. You know, I slipped on a ladder with no restraints, nothing. Laying on a concrete bus. I could have sued this lady. But did I sue the lady? No, I didn't sue her. I went back to work with a broken arm. Now looking back on it, I feel like I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm stupid. I haven't, you know, but that, it's just my nature. Turn right onto Glenstone Avenue. That was before we left Florida. Yeah. Right before, about a year before we left Florida. Yeah, a few years. Yeah. And um. You know. Continue on Glenstone Avenue for three quarters of a mile. I think I've also been around people that work hard. I think if you've never been around hardworking people, you can learn a lot from them. Like I used to work with somebody, a family member of mine, a hardworking person. 
And I used to be like, man, how do you do it? Like, I was like, I couldn't go anymore. He's like, you, just, you don't think about it, you just do it. He gave me a few tips on how he, you know, prepare your mind to excruciating physical work and you just do it. Generally, hard work will not make your life worse. Being lazy will. What's nice about the city since it's a great pound, you can just flow right through the city. A nice, easy grid pound, you can just fly through the city. What are your thoughts on this place, Katie? Beautiful, nice place. Oh, yeah, I like some of the old architecture and stuff, but this place she's totally like sold out. She's like, Oh, now. this is dang beautiful. <laughs> She's totally zoned out. Yeah. Uh, She's totally out of her element. That was really your reaction. It was like, it's just beautiful. Look at this. It's just beautiful. Look at the, what, what, look at the natural settings. This is a place that could be very, very beautiful, but it's not. It's gone downhill. It looks like at right. its prime, it was will be on a very left. nice city. You're totally zoned out. Like, Kate, what do you think about? Oh, this is a beautiful. We're, we're riding a mountain right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, okay, yeah. so I think I'm actually going to keep recording. Your destination is on the left. You know, See how long it actually takes to go to Starbucks? That's a good, that, yeah, this will be quick. It's a city. City people are quick. Getting that Starbucks line in Prattville, Alabama. You'll be in that line all day, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I might just keep recording in case somebody wants to see more of the city. Mm -hmm. Keep recording until the bathroom or no? Yeah. They can see what we order. Yeah. Might as well. Some people think we drag out our videos too yeah. long. Did you like where we stayed last night? The hotel? Mm-hmm. Honestly, no. They put us on the first floor. I didn't like it either. I didn't like it. Either. It was a, it was ex almost two hundred dollars a night, Ugh. which was like ridiculous for a place this crappy. Then we they put us on the first floor, mm -hmm. and there's lights right outside the window, so there's no way you can get the. There's a lot of pregnant women in this town. Yeah. For being a vagrant town they sure like making love mm -hmm. keep the population up <laughs> there's another generation that inherits poverty mm -hmm. all the people i met from missouri and florida are pretty cool though i'll give you that yeah they're classy people mm -hmm. <laughs> those ones i met are like very classy people This Starbucks line right here. Pods. Pod, pod, pods. I don't know how long this drive will take. It looks like it's moving pretty quick. Yeah. Here we go. Thirty-dollar breakfast. Yes, I know it's embarrassing. We have a thirty-dollar breakfast. Yeah. Hi, can you can I get started for you? Can I please get a green tea frappuccino, light ice, coconut milk? Okay. Do you still want the whip on there? Whipped cream on top and on the bottom. Okay. Brownie. Okay. Do you want that warmed up? No. What is this mean? Uh, okay, so I have a clave um, green tea cream frap with coconut milk and whip on the top and bottom and a chocolate brownie. Anything else? Um, double smoked bacon. Gotcha. Okay, it looks like we are out of double smoked bacon. Would you like a bacon good instead? Sure, that works. Awesome. Anything else for today? Yeah, I'm gonna try the paradise. Ice drink? Yeah, what size? Venti, please. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have the impossible sandwich. Okay, and an impossible. Yeah. And I'll have a lemon loaf. Oh, lemon loaf. Okay, awesome. If that's it for today, that'll be 31 Oh, can I add a bottle of water to that?
Yeah, it looks like I have a bottle of water for you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'll have your total up front. In misery, misery, misery and poverty. Misery, take me home to the place. There's misery, misery, misery and misery. Thank you. Take me down there, man. Mm -hmm. I went to Starbucks. I spent like thirty dollars on my breakfast. Da, 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 da. I spent like thirty dollars on my breakfast. Da, 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 da. On my breakfast. Da, 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 da. I spent like thirty dollars on my breakfast. Like da, 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 like da, 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 da. Thirty dollars. Oh yeah, just on breakfast. Oh yeah. Thirty dollars. Oh yeah, it's just on breakfast. Oh yeah. Oh 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 yeah. Oh 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 yeah. Now we just drive for the rest of the day. I spent like thirty dollars. Oh yeah, on breakfast. Oh yeah. I spent like thirty dollars. Oh yeah, just on breakfast. Oh yeah. I spent like thirty dollars. Oh yeah, just on breakfast. Oh yeah. I spent. So what you can do if you're still watching this video is hit the comment section while we get out of this drive-thru. It gives you an opportunity to comment. Because if you don't comment, YouTube algorithm doesn't like us. Mm -hmm. $30, oh yeah, just on breakfast. Oh yeah, I spent like $30. Oh yeah, just on breakfast. Oh yeah, I spent. There's other videos that are scheduled. Can you unschedule them? Okay. That way that video gets the opportunity to just run through it hard. Yeah. And then we'll take views away from that video. Mm -hmm. I spent like $30. Oh, yeah. Just on breakfast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So if you live here or not, get to the comment section while we're in this right through. We're taking this opportunity to comment. Hey, ma'am. 3378. How are you doing today? Doing well. How about you? I'm here. Good. There's your, your food. Oh, did you pay? Oh, I gave her the card. Oh, I got to use the cell phone. I'm sorry. It's too late. Yeah, I think it's too late. I'm sorry, what? I was supposed to pay you with my cell phone. <laughs> yeah. That's not a big deal. Don't worry. Let me see if it, it already went through. It's all good. Oh. Sorry. It's all good. So I no can't even deal. get points? Don't worry about it. No, don't I'm complain. Do it ahead of time. It's not a big deal. It's not her yeah. fault. It's your fault. You should have given her your phone. What is this thing? Whatever it's better paint. That was you. Me? How? Have Your drinks. Have I given you anything yet? Not, uh, or warm food. Yeah. Oh, the food. Okay. So drinks. Yes, ma'am. I spent like $30. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. There you go. Um, a great day. We're not supposed to be venting. Well, it can be. All right. Like yeah. What about your drink? I haven't gotten it yet. Well, what's your drink supposed to be? A vente what? Paradise, Paradise drink. Paradise, yeah. And there's a bottle of water as well. Yeah. I spent like 30 dollars. Oh, yeah. Make sure you got everything in the bag because this is kind of confusing. Yes. I'm on breakfast. I've already checked it. Uh, 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 uh. And it's yeah. like Thank you. I think there was a, a passion drink or something. Paradise drink. Paradise drink and a bottle of water. Yeah. Thank you.
Thank you. There's a white mocha, an iced white mocha that got messed up. Do you want to have it for free? I'll pass on it. Okay. I think we got enough. Yeah. <laughs> although I could give it, I could give it to somebody out there. I'll take it. I might run to somebody. Thank you. Can I get a straw for it? Yeah. I might just run to somebody on the sidewalk and give it to them. All right. Have a beautiful day. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, now we got an extra drink I to hand out. Mm -hmm. So, you gotta find somebody just out there and be like, yo, happy Starbucks. Mm -hmm. Find somebody out there. Mm -hmm. it shouldn't be hard in this town. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we're going south, right? Mm -hmm. Why well, is just not anybody else begging for us? Yeah, today. I know. That's how it goes. It's right? usually how it goes. Then somebody has to drink it. I'll find somebody out there that needs it. There's somebody right here. Let's see if they want to start with the animal world. No, they've had a whole bunch of food. They already, they're set. Yeah, he's got more food than we do. He's like, he's got like five Kentucky Fried Chicken bags on himself. Yeah. Let's find somebody here. Maybe at a gas station or something. Oh, we gotta get gas before we leave, too. Yeah, sure. There's a homeless cart over there, but I don't see no one here. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, well, one thing about food is, it is never wrong to give somebody food, no matter what situation they're in. It is When it comes to food, there's no judging people. Yeah. With money, you can definitely judge people. Anybody hanging out there? Let's just not see another vagrant person. For I know, the right? That's the, usually the our The rest luck. of the stay in this town, there won't be another homeless person. Then we have to figure out what to do with it. Yeah, that's <laughs> how it works. Yeah. Dude, those tires are bald. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna need to buy some tires, my man. They're advertising their song. We're heading south right now. We're supposed to be heading south. Maybe the south side of town is a little bit more decent, folks out here. There's not much homelessness. We'll find somebody. Somebody will drink the Starbucks thing. We're hiding south toward a Walmart. Okay. All right. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. That sounds like where you find someone. Why are you so prejudiced, man? What, what, what's wrong with Walmart? It's a great place. Can you not talk with your mouth stuffed? Is that a person begging? No. You got a sign or something? No. They were just... Right in person. Yeah, she's got a sign. He or she, it doesn't matter. Let's see if we can get him. Yeah, they get them there for Starbucks money. Mm -hmm. yeah, they got a sign. Yeah. Yo, they gave us an extra drink at the Starbucks you want? Nice and cold, man. Yeah, they gave us, they had extra drinks at the Starbucks. Thank you. Have a nice day. All right, man. Let's eat now. Yeah. Did you get my water? Uh, it's on the door. Oh, okay. On your door? Mm-hmm. It's wrong. Oh. Mm -hmm. GPS, Mountain Home, Alabama. Okay. I don't know how successful that would be. Hmm? Mountain home? Well, we gotta head that way. Anyway. Alabama? Oh. <laughs> Arkansas. I'm sorry. You know, there's some similarities there. I don't hate people that are like that. I hate their situation. I feel like they deserve better, you know? Yep. I'm not mad at the people. I'm mad at the situation that they're in. Like, I feel like everybody... Everybody deserves work. Everybody deserves a, yeah. a dignified way to earn money, you know? A dignified way. We all deserve better. Like, we all deserve... 
There's no person that deserves less than the next, you know? Unless they commit a crime that is against society. Mm -hmm. And you're being punished for it. Do you put GPS on? I did. I mean, just plug it in. Yeah. I'm not sure we're supposed to turn left here. Am I? No, you're supposed to go straight. Unless you're being punished for committing a crime against society. Yeah. Nobody deserves. Nobody deserves. Um. Look at all these people protesting here. It's kind of crazy. people that are in this town? Mm How -hmm. many addicted people? There's a lot of work that needs to be done in this town for, for the people. Mm -hmm. Head east for Glenstone Avenue. I can't believe how miserable this town is. I thought it was going to be better. Mm -hmm. Head north toward Glenstone Avenue. Head west toward Glenstone Avenue. Head north toward Glenstone Avenue. Help, man. This town is in bad shape. Head north toward East State Highway D, East Sunshine Street. In 150 feet, turn right onto East State Highway D, East oh, Sunshine like Street. Turn right onto East State Highway D, East Sunshine Street. Then continue straight to stay on East State Highway D. Yeah, this town's. This town needs help, man. Head this south toward East State Highway D, help. East Sunshine Street. The amount of homelessness and addiction in this town is insane. Yeah. You know, there's nothing to Head be proud of here. This place is sad. Sad, 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 man. Yeah. People in this town got a lot of work, man. They got to clean up the city. I don't, I don't even know what type of services, medical or legal, or I don't Turn even know where to Glenstone start. Avenue. Continue on Glenstone Avenue for. Head I wouldn't north even know where to start. Avenue. I'm trying to fix a place like this. Yeah. Like somebody, far. somebody Head with like millions of dollars. <laughs> Turn left onto Glenstone Avenue. Somebody with like a million dollars that wants to be generous to come up in here, and maybe start programs, start hobbies for people, mm -hmm. do something to get these people back on track. Man, this town needs help. Mm -hmm. This is just, wow. Continue on Glenstone Avenue for three miles. Like, this is the birthplace of Route 66. Mm -hmm. So this town should be... Exemplary. Exemplary. Yeah. Look at a place like this. The first Americans came from England, Ireland. Those are islands. They got on a boat and they drove on a boat for 60 days. I don't know how long. Those people that came from Ireland and England, they were being oppressed in their country. So they're from an island that was being oppressed. They got on a boat for months at a time, made it to America. Then they went through hostile native territories, you know, paved the route all the way to the west coast. You know, eventually, and 
start Starbucks. Eventually, those people made Route 66, you know, the first road to connect Chicago to LA. People, people, from those, those first, those yeah. first people, those first people. You know, you think about the, the, there was no cars, no air conditioning. Mm -hmm. A lot of them just didn't make it. They might have froze, you know, they might have frozen a cold tundra somewhere, you know. Think about how many people didn't make it, ran out of food, where you know, it's pretty much the natives got rid of them. After all, they were just trying to take their land. Think about all the hardships that those people in the 1800s, 1700s, 1600s went through to pave the way for this country to be what it is today. And that today with cars, technology, air conditioning, heater, food in abundance, everything in abundance, that so many people just are struggling. It's crazy. You know? Look at this. We're going to travel from Missouri to Florida in three days. In three days because we want to take our time and we're exploring and stuff if we were to, if we wanted to just book it we could do it in, in 24 hours you know if we wanted to drive 18 hours 19 hours straight do the speed limit we could be in florida in 18 hours in less than one day in the 1800s 1700s we would have been risking our lives to do that yeah that's right traverse those that, you know and now you can do it in a day but it's crazy how despite all these advancements, as a society, we, we still have incredible challenges. Oh, never mind. Stay on this road for a little bit. This town is historic in the fact that it's the first stop on the first on the Route 66. Mm -hmm. So people from outside of America like Europe and all that, mm -hmm. they look to this town. So, because it's iconic in the Route 66, if you came here and saw it, it's sad. Outside the U.S., someone comes all the way from whatever country they're at to come here to go on Route 66. This is what they see. This is what they see. This is an embarrassment. up a minute so the phone goes on. Yeah, this is an embarrassment to yeah. my This is sad. This is freaking sad, man. Mm -hmm. About two or three million dollars or so mm -hmm. to make a difference here. With two or three men, though, I, I, I don't, I wouldn't know how to go about that. You know, I don't know if there are facilities that provide help for people. Maybe there are. Maybe there are many facilities here that provide help for people. Are there? Mm -hmm. I don't know, but, but there's a lot of work here. I Me, mean, I wish like if I if I had more resources, I'd come to a town like this. You know, of course, just dreaming come to a town like this everybody on the street give them food talk to them you know maybe hire two or three other people to do the same thing find you know nice sweet old ladies in a little Prius or something and give them the resources go around talking to people you know the help they need there's good people everywhere no doubt about that Some people have mental illnesses, man. Like, it's not even their mm -hmm. fault. It's just they don't have the capacity to, yeah. to function in society. And they just need a little help. It's tough out there. Mm -hmm. It's tough out there, man. For those people, like, you know, maybe providing, like, a housing or, like, group housing where everybody gets their own room or whatnot. And I'm sure they have programs like that here. I'm sure there there are problems. I'm pretty. I hope there's problems. You know, like that. there should be. But at the end of the day, you know, good intentions alone aren't going to solve everybody's yeah. problems. You know, good intentions only go so far. And with most people, like addicts and stuff like that, they have to want it. In one thousand, they don't want it, then it's not going to work. Exactly. Street.